Computer Overview In this lecture, we will study about what is a computer, functioning of a computer, evolution of computers, the generations of modern computer, and the types of computers. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that can perform variety of operations in accordance with a set of instructions called a program. A computer can access and process data millions of times faster than a human can. A computer can store information in its memory, process them, and can produce desired results. Data in computer terminologies means raw facts and figures. For example, Mohan, 16, 10, St. Paul's. Information is the meaningful data that we get after processing. For example, Mohan is a 16-year-old boy studying in class 10th in St. Paul's school. Functioning of a computer A computer follows an input-output process or IPO cycle. That is, it requires an input, carries out a process, and generates an output. Functioning of a computer can be divided into various parts. First of all, input unit. The input unit is responsible for taking input and converting it into computer understandable form that is the binary code. Next comes the central processing unit or CPU. CPU is the control center of a computer. It guides, directs and governs its performance. CPU has two components, ALU and CU. ALU stands for arithmetic logic unit and CU stands for control unit. Arithmetic logic unit performs all the four arithmetical and some logical operations. These operations provide the capability of decision making to the computer. Whereas control unit controls and guides the interpretation, flow and manipulation of data and information. Next comes the memory. Memory of a computer is like a predefined working place where it temporarily keeps information and data to facilitate its performance. Memory of a computer is volatile, that is, it cannot remember anything after it is switched off. Next comes the output unit. The output coming from the CPU is in the form of electronic binary signals, which needs conversion in some form which can be easily understood by human beings. This function of conversion is performed by output unit. Let us discuss about hardware. Hardware represents the, ten the physical and tangible components of a computer that can be touched or seen. The basic hardwares are input devices, output devices, CPU or central processing unit, storage devices and memory. Now let us study about software. Software represents the set of programs that govern the operation of a computer system and make the hardware run. Software can be divided into three parts. First operating system, second language processor, third application software. Operating system is a set of program which act as an interface between a user and a hardware. Language processor convert high level languages to low level languages and vice versa. Language processors are of three types, assembler, interpreter and compiler. Application software is a set of programs necessary to carry out operations for a specific application. Now let us discuss language processors in detail. Assembler. Assembler is a language processor that converts a program written in assembly language to machine language. Interpreter. Interpreter is a language processor that converts a program written in high level language to machine language by converting and executing it line by line. Compiler. This, this language processor converts a program written in high level language to machine language by converting and executing it all in one go. This is the basic difference between interpreter and compiler that inter converts the program line by line and compiler converts the program all in one go. Strengths and weaknesses of a computer. Strengths. 
computers are much faster as compared to human beings computers can store a large amount of information in very small space computers can perform all the calculations accurately provided the hardware does not malfunction computers are immune to tiredness or boredom now discuss the weaknesses computers cannot decide on their own they do not possess the power which is a great asset of human beings computers are dumb machines with iq 0 they need to be told each and every step however minute it may be now let us study about evolution of computers first abacus around 3000 years before the birth of jesus christ the mesopotamians discovered the earliest form of an counting machine with beads and wires which subsequently came to be known as abacus second napier's logs and bones john napier developed the idea of logarithm and used logs to transform multiplication problems to addition problems third pascal's adding machine blaise pascal invented a machine in 1642 made up of gears these gears were used for adding numbers quickly this was capable of addition and subtraction fourth leibniz calculator this machine was invented in 1671 This was capable of performing multiplication and division as well. Fifth, Jacquard's loom. Joseph Jacquard manufactured punch cards at the end of American Revolution in 1801. With the historic invention of punch cards, the era of storing and retrieving information started. Sixth, Babbage's difference engine. Charles Babbage, a professor of mathematics, developed a machine called difference engine. In year 1822 this machine could calculate logarithmic tables to a high degree of precision. 7th Babbage's analytical engine. In 1833 Charles Babbage started designing an analytical engine. Babbage established the basic principles on which today's computers work. This was capable of performing four arithmetic operations and comparison. He included the concept of central processor, storage, memory, input-output devices in his design. Today, Charles Babbage is titled as the father of modern computers. Eighth, Hollerith's machine. In 1887, Hermann Hollerith fabricated the first electromechanical punch card tabulator that used punch cards for input, output, and instructions. Ninth, Mark I. In 1943 an electromechanical computer named as Mark I was invented which could multiply two digit numbers in 5 seconds a record at that time this was first operational general purpose computer now we will study about generations of modern computer first generation computer used vacuum tubes they were big and clumsy had a very high electrical consumption generated large amount of heat second generation computers used transistor in place of vacuum tubes computer became smaller and faster electricity consumption became lower generated less amount of heat third generation computers used integrated circuits computers became smaller faster and more reliable power consumption became lower high level languages were used four generation computers used integrated circuits which were more smaller and faster portable computers were developed great development in data communication different types of secondary memory with high storage capacity were developed and last the fifth generation computers these computers were based on artificial intelligence these computers are still in development Now we will briefly discuss about types of computers. A computer can be broadly divided into three categories: digital, analog, and hybrid. Digital computers can be broadly divided into size and performance wise and purpose wise computers. Size and performance wise, digital computers can be divided into five categories: embedded, micro, mini, 
मेन फ्रेम एंड सुपर कंप्यूटर्स पर्पज वाइज कंप्यूटर्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स स्पेशल पर्पज कंप्यूटर एंड डिजिटल पर्पज कंप्यूटर्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल स्टडी मीडिया फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज थैंक यू